Here's another question, same thing, only different, right? Okay, look, you know that this is the part that behaves. You know that this has to be thrown out. Okay, here we go. So minus 3x squared plus 18x, that's what stays. Minus 12 goes outside. Remember, you got a GCF here. Your GCF then has got to be negative 3. So we're going to factor that out first giving you x squared and don't forget if you're factoring out a negative now every sign changes so that's x squared and that's now minus 6x minus 12. same 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 look at this half of this right becomes minus three oh magic number squared becomes positive nine which means you have to get rid of the nine out here but don't forget Everything was distributed, including the minus 3 to the 9 that you're trying to get rid of. So, just distribute it one more time to the minus 3 out here. So, minus 3 times minus 9 is a positive 27. There's the minus 12, which is still out there. Now, okay, so let's clean it up. There's the magic number. There's the GCF. GCF still up front. This now... Real simple, x minus 3 is now squared, because that's your magic number, right? Minus 12 from 27 works out to be positive 15. There you go, y equals 2. And again, try putting this in the calculator. See if you get exactly the same thing. Back up the podcast, find the original question. Actually, I'll even write it out for you y equals 2 minus 3x squared plus 18x minus 12. Put this in as y1 and this one is y2. See if they overlap each other perfectly. If they did, you know you did this right.